2024 Toyota Tacoma has arrived in South Texas. So we're gonna go take a look at them. When uh, when did they come in? Yes, uh, today. Today. I saw Roger posted something and then mm -hmm. I saw somebody else posted something and I'm like... Oh, actually, you know what? That's one. Well, that's good enough. Yeah. Can we look at that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nobody's in there. Yeah, we're we're gonna gonna put right here. Matter, matter of fact, you want to put them next to each other? Yeah. Can let's I pull up there? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got you on video, by cool, the way. Cool, cool, cool. This is uh, Bull from Bird Ogden. Yes, <laughs> me. I'm his uh, number one uh, salesman. The number one <laughs> salesman. Okay, we are at Bird Ogden, the first 2024 Tacoma that I've seen. This is Bull. He is my salesman, fantastic guy. If you're looking for a Tacoma or any other Toyota product, right. get a hold of this guy. He's yes, awesome. Sir, yes, sir. So, what can you tell me about 2024 it? 2024 TRD Sport 4x4, brand new redesign. As you can tell, the scoop is different. It's a beautiful scoop. Yeah. Look at that. You know, I wasn't sure. I talked about that a little bit on a live, but I like it. Seeing it in person, I like it. It looks Your awesome. Your fog lights are different as well. They're actually on the front, not on the side. You do have your lights, your headlights that are almost identical, sort of identical as the Tundra. You still have the same safety features, the lane assistance, your sensors for the cruise control so you have those and the tss system looks like they've relocated it down here yes, now it used to be, be here yes right behind right so we can mod the emblem yes sir that is awesome yes. especially you that you, well, yeah, yeah especially you. me right <laughs> yeah is this truck sold or no is it's it, not it's, it's available, available. Yes. okay still available okay it's got the trd wheels on it awesome hey what's up how you doing good man ready for one of these ones well eventually i just don't know what model i want i'm kind of holding out for the hybrid but yeah you never know you never know right <laughs> we'll test right now see if you want to hey i like wanna that take it today yeah <laughs> yeah we do have like i said we have two i believe they're the same model it is four by four awesome still have the composite bed looks like this has a little more it, or uh, texturing to it yeah, than what mine does. Yeah. 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 Actually, uh, the 2023s didn't have no texture, and it was everything was like sliding. Exactly. So now like, you have. Uh, like, actually, on the on the build sheet it says spray on. Sorry. No, go ahead. Like mine here, for example. See, I have the bed mat, but you can see how this is just real slippery. Correct. We don't have that now. Awesome. Good improvement. Also, the the door. Lighter, way lighter. Oh, Try yeah. it out. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say maybe five pounds lighter. Wow. Definitely can tell that. This one has, looks like the tow package on it, or at least a receiver on the back. And what is this? Lift. That's a lift, yeah. Is that, I don't know what that means. Is that how you jack it up? Maybe for a high lift? I've not seen to, that. We have to, uh, I don't know. Do our homework for that. Yeah. Cool. And again, this is the Sport. Charity Sport. Does it have the? No, not on this one. Not on this not one. On this okay. One. I believe the Limited would have. We'll we'll have that, and it'll be on the other side as well. Okay. And this does not have a sliding rear window. It does not. Does not. Okay. I thought maybe they they tricked us and they put yeah. the fully that retractable. Nice. That would have been really yeah. nice. Yeah. A little bit bulkier, more tundra-like handle. Yes. A little bit more more storage, a few more inches of storage in the, in the bottom of the seat as well. Awesome. And do we still have anything? Yep, we still have storage behind the seat. I know it's a little dark in here. This wrong camera, I guess. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Check this out cool got the bulkier more meaty uh shifter in there all of the controls down there in the front a little storage up here 
Rough compartment that's a lot more bigger. Awesome. Also, if you notice, if you want to go in and go ahead and look at the, the knobs, mm -hmm. you're gonna figure you're gonna find out what them, those knobs are for. Cool, it's got tow haul and then a mode drive. This is automatic, of course. So now you're the way the everything looks. Oh yeah. And also you have your four by four here instead of a Cool. Instead of in, being in front of the dashboard, right, right, you, everything is changed. No more buttons down no up buttons, under here, yeah, anyway. Right. No more buttons. I like this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, also. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have to take a look under the hood. Go ahead. Yep. Of course, this is the new four-cylinder turbo. Oh. pretty slick to me of course the proof will be in the pudding are we able to take this for a ride yeah yeah we can oh cool let me get you the key i'll be right back wow looks pretty nice what i'm really curious about is how does it drive particularly compared to the outgoing third generation this is a trd off-road by the way again this is the new sport cool looks very cool yeah yeah i like it i like the interior as well yeah it's i mean they they really did something some big changes on technology and stuff like that inside i mean yeah why don't you go ahead if you don't mind being on camera introduce yeah. yourself and... hi i'm david fernandez i'm one of the finance managers here at bird ogden toyota so right here we have our first uh one of a kind uh, tacoma trd support so this is the first one we actually get here in, in our store so hopefully we, we keep them coming and, and because it's going to be a great, 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 uh, great vehicle for all those uh, Tacoma enthusiasts that we have here in the valley. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Well, I guess now we're going to go for a ride. Okay. While we're getting the right key, they actually got two of these in. So if you're looking for one, now's the time. We've got the uh, dash cam integrated up here, which is pretty cool. And then over there, there's the grab handle. Call that what you want. Uh, still no grab handle over here, and this is what the gauge cluster looks like, at least so far, with, uh, with the door open. And there is the radio screen from the driver's perspective, I guess, kind of give you what this looks like from my perspective inside. Okay, going to go ahead and hit the, the brake, and let's start her up. There's what the gauge cluster looks like little refresh rate on the camera pretty cool here is the screen Let's see if we can fire that up very similar to uh, the RAV4 mm -hmm. now again there's what the screen looks like that is a pretty sharp screen looks like all what digital LED all digital wow pretty cool Definitely all right let's uh, let's hit reverse there's a look at the backup camera and let's go for a ride Okay, here we go. First ride in the 2024 Tacoma. You are the first driver. The first driver. I like that. Oh, okay. Not well, bad. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. Can I go on the freeway? Yeah, of course. Not bad on the takeoff. You know, that's one of the biggest things. A lot of people have been worried about the power of the four-cylinder turbo versus the V6. I'd say it's quicker. And I'll be honest with you, the 2023. Uh, it is way different. There's no takeoff on the 2023 four-cylinder. So this is a really good uh, upgrade. Is this four-cylinder engine completely different than the outgoing four-cylinder? Yes. Cool. Oops, and we're already at 70 mile an hour. I, I would say power is not a concern in this truck, at least from the very limited uh, time that I'm sitting in it right now. So awesome. Uh, from a comfort standpoint, feels nice, nice and smooth. I would say it's probably a little bit smoother than the the outgoing third gen. Um, I'm not feeling the bumps quite as much as I do in my truck. Of course, I do have different tires, to be fair, and different wheels, but it feels pretty good. I think I might like it. I don't know. From a visibility standpoint, uh, I don't have any issues. I wouldn't say it's 
better or worse, I wouldn't say it's any different. I'd say it's probably about the same. Maybe a little bit more visibility out of the back, even though I know the, the headrests are up. But if they were tilted down, and I assume they tilt down like the old ones, I don't know. But uh, looks pretty good to me. Okay, we're going to get back on the freeway. I'm going to give it a little bit of gas. I'm not going to go nuts. It's not my truck. So, you know. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Sales guy right here, right? Here we go. Let's uh, let's see how it feels. Wow. Yeah. I don't feel any lag uh, per se in this, so I'm impressed. That off the line speed is what I, or acceleration rather, is what I always go for. I know it's not a drag car, but it's got to go, right? That's what makes vehicles, part of it anyway, fun to drive. So far, it's pretty fun to drive. Instant power when you hit the accelerator, I like that. Particularly when you're getting on the freeway like we just were there and I've got a, a semi or something bearing down on me from the back. You want to be able to go, right? But I can tell the difference. Oh, it is. I, I, I've been on a passenger side and driving so many four-cylinder Tacobas or being a passenger side of the while they're driving, mm -hmm. you can tell the difference and you can tell the speed and the power and the torque and you know the 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 feel of a 2023 and a 2024 the difference and it's amazing oh yeah wow the, you know the biggest thing the thing that i think always uh is bad in the third generation or has been bad is the accelerate i know i keep going back to acceleration right yeah but even driving out here at 63 mile an hour getting on the gas a little bit it's a nice smooth delivery and part of that's probably the new transmission this is an eight speed transmission okay. So, good job for Toyota so far. I know people are going to be concerned about the longevity of the turbo, but, you know, hey, I mean, it's Toyota, right? Nice manly horn, right? Yeah. Cool. It's always bad when you get in something like this, you honk the horn and it goes beep. I mean, <laughs> I'm not driving a Volkswagen Beetle, you know? Another thing I'll mention about the hood scoop on here, you know, a, a big complaint or a lot of people have complained in the past about the hood scoop being obtrusive, being in the way, not in this one. They've got it kind of more lined in with the hood, I guess, and it really doesn't bother you from a visual standpoint. So something else that Toyota has improved on, I think. Okay, we're gonna check the turn radius in this truck real quick. Uh, hopefully I have enough room where I'm at right now. Let's mm -hmm. just see. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I actually? Wow. Wow. I can make it all the way around here. Pretty cool. Okay, lastly, we have to take a look at the sticker. Uh, this has all the options and things you guys can see on it right there. All of the pricing and stuff over there. And this truck is stickered at 46572. Again, it is a 2024 in celestial silver boulder black interior 4x4 double cab tacoma trd sport that's it that's a look a quick look at the 2024 tacoma leave some comments let me know what you think and if you're looking for one they've got at least two of them over here at bird ogden see bull he'll get you a deal and thanks to bull for letting me look at this i really do appreciate it we'll see you next time on the web bye